Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. Another day, another another uh, round of cancellations mm -hmm. uh, in the making. Yeah, so the Twitter outrage mob was successful in getting rid of Gina Carano. Right. But now they need a new target. So now we're going to double down on Rosario Dawson because we got to get rid of all the strong women out of Star Wars. Right, right. Because right. we want strong women unless they're, they're these strong women. The wrong women. The wrong ones. And also... Uh, Henry Cavill, your your friend Henry Cavill, mm -hmm. your platonic friend Henry Cavill. Uh, he is. You're really upset that I, that I said Henry Cavill's cute. Sorry. He is being attacked for daring to date Gina Carano many years ago. Yeah, how how very dare they? How very dare he? How dare he uh, touch that uh, jackbooted thug? Yeah, even though she, by her own admission, was never political until recently. So ten years ago, she probably <laughs> didn't even give a shit about politics. Probably not. So we're gonna we're gonna talk about that. Before we get into it, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. We're over 179,000 subs, hoping for 200,000 soon. Thank you for the support. Uh, we do talk about Star Wars. We talk about movies. We talk about comics. We talk about pop culture, and we talk about Twitter idiocy. And here it comes again, courtesy of Bounding in the Comics. I just joked the other day. I said, you know, they're gonna double down Rosario Dawson mm -hmm. now, right? Well, uh, they were before they got Gina Carano canceled, which I'll talk about in a minute. Yeah, so here's here's the thing about uh, Rosario Dawson. There was a controversy a, was a year or two ago about a family friend that just yeah, and it was supposed to be from three years ago. This whole situation. Yeah, there was there uh, there was an altercation. Now this family friend just happened to be trans, but because of that, Rosario Dawson was being targeted by Twitter for cancellation because she was being mean and abusive to trans people. According to this one person who pressed charges. And then actually dropped the charges. And her lawyer quit the case because- the, There you was know, no case. Well, lawyers don't usually quit unless there's, you know, there's nothing to, to defend. So, you know, that has been a, a few months back that the updates happened that the, case, the charges were all dropped, but they won't stop because somebody said so. It makes it true even if it if necessarily isn't true. Yep. So this is, uh, I guess this is coming from Inverse originally. Uh, they chimed in the Gina Carano situation. Um, they talked about how basically they were effective with the fire Gina Carano hashtag. They were, look, look, Lucasfilm, everything we've heard is that Lucasfilm was just looking for a reason. Right. A technicality to get rid of her. Here's the thing. With both the Gina Carano and Rosario Dawson, what I kept seeing was, they would talk about Marvel on Disney Plus or anything unrelated, uh, one of their animated shows or something, that all these, these, these same people would show up, fire Gina Carano, fire Rosario Dawson, had nothing to do with the conversation. Nothing. Yeah. And that's happened on one thread I was I saw where they were talking about WandaVision, and this chick comes on there and she's like, fire Gina Carano, fire Rosario Dawson. And someone's like, why do you want to fire Rosario Dawson? She's like, she's a transphobe, terrible person. Let me tell you about it. I had to go shovel snow first. And then I stepped in and said, well, wait a minute. I said, you know, oh, because Gina Carano's a bigot. And I said, by definition, a bigot is someone you're, you're discriminating against based on like things like their political affiliation or group they belong to. So technically, by the definition, that would constitute you being bigoted against Gina Carano. Mm. But beyond all that, I said the Rosario Dawson thing, the transphobe you know, accusations, all those charges were dropped. I think there was two left and the lawyer quit the case at that point because they didn't think there was a case. And as a result of this, when the person came back, they they kept saying that I was an idiot. That I was I was. That they kept saying, um, "You just want attention. You just want attention." Says to the person who started this whole thing on a thread that had nothing to do with either Rosario Dawson or Gina Carano. And I just pointed out that that she she might want to recheck her information. And I was very nice about mm -hmm. it. And she's like, you know, you're 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 ignorant. You're you're uneducated. You're uneducated. Turns out she's a 17 year old and she and she's using autism as a shield again, which you know what? I'm, I'm going to say this right now. I am so tired of seeing these these kids um, go around thinking they can say whatever they want because they're under 18 and they keep using autism as a reason why they should be allowed to say whatever they want. I have relatives that are autistic. They don't behave that way. The thing is, is you don't know who you're dealing with online. You could be dealing with someone who is not autistic, who isn't a kid. But just saying that so they get a pass right. on Twitter. So they blocked me, even though I didn't do anything. And then they told everybody that I would, I refused to discuss it with them. I, I, I was going to discuss it with them. She never would discuss. She just told me I was looking for attention and that I was uneducated. Um, right, because I have a one degree and almost a second one. But I am so much, you know, less educated than the girl who hasn't even graduated high school yet. But um, she went and said that. And then she said, I was looking for the male approval from the, the fandom menace. What? I'm like, um, I'm married. 
no. But anyway, you know, the, the, the point is, this has been going on for a while now. They have been trying to co-opt any post that Disney Plus puts up. Yep. They first they were doing it with Gina Carano, but they've been doing the 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 cancel uh, Rosario Dawson at the same time. They've been doing it for weeks, and now they got the one. They're going after the other, but you know neither one did anything to vote, to to truly get them canceled. I I don't think. And Rosario Dawson, their claims of against her is because somebody said something that, that apparently was dropped because it wasn't true. Uh, yeah, yeah, it doesn't matter. But they're looking for targets. They're looking for. You know, and that's the thing. When you when you get into this mindset, look at, this, look at the image for this. Uh, Cara Dune's head on a, a walker. That's ridiculous. Um, you know, they're they're looking for people to target. They're constantly hungry for yeah. cancellation. And what's going to happen is it's going to bite Disney and Lucasfilm and everybody in the ass. Eventually, they're going to work their way through the most disagreeable people, and they're going to work their way up to the top of the temple. And the same people who called for the firing of Gina Carano are going to call for the firing of Bob Chapek, Kathleen, of Kathleen Kennedy. Kennedy. You know, you you give in to them once and they never stop. They're right. always hungry. That's so, their thing. And Rosario Dawson's a Democrat, isn't she? She was dating... She's dating Cory Booker. I know. And then and they, and they have all kinds of evidence where she's sp- spoken out in, hel- in defense of yes. the LGBTQ, whatever it is now, it changes every week, um, community. From my understanding... It was, this was a family friend. They had an altercation. The cops got called. Uh, you know, I've I've had some pretty exciting family get-togethers mm-hmm. in the past. Uh, I used to joke at uh, Thanksgiving that usually there was a fist fight. And it's uh, entirely true. We had three Thanksgivings in a row where a fist fight had broken out. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know? Were the cops called? Uh, cops were called once. I think they were called once. So I'm like, you know, look, this kind of stuff happens. You know, it and just because someone said it doesn't make it true or false. You have right. to have evidentiary support of <laughs> said, and anybody can press charges or sue somebody and have you know a get for these things. It doesn't make it true. I mean, I could do that tomorrow if I wanted to. If I wanted to just waste money because you know I'd lose unless I had actual case. Yeah. So you know, this article on Inverse is talking about how stands are ba- stands. We mm-hmm. talk about this. That obsessive fans are, and they they get off on this. They legitimately get off on this. This is not. They probably even watch this damn they show. Don't. To them, I know that they even do. It's a game. It's a game. How much power do we have? Yay, I'm part of something. Even if it's the wrong thing, I'm part of something. And they're they're talking about how they're looking now to uh you know go after Rosario Dawson, too. Um so you know, they talked about the allegations with uh Dawson and Look, the it's all member. anonymous. Yeah. Anonymous Stan interviewed. They don't even have the balls to put their names on it. Uh, yeah, so here we have, so, yeah, it's always like, you know, cartoon cartoon avatars. We have usernames with, well, all, they always have like 50 different little icons in there so you know what they are supposedly are. And then we've got, you know, a lot of times a bunch of numbers after there. I mean, you want to talk about bots, right? Um, but yeah, I mean, there's all kind. Of, this is very typical. So Katana doesn't deserve to be played by a transphobic. She deserves better. Fire Rosario Dawson, just like you did Gina Carano. Again, taste of blood. Um... They're not going to win on this one. I really doubt they will because she isn't putting herself in a position that they could even win with. No, you know, like you know, Gina Carano, you know, didn't want they didn't want them telling her what she couldn't couldn't do, so she fought back. Dawson's not even she's she's ignoring them. Yeah, you need to. That's the thing. You give in to them, and I think this is why you know people that are in the crosshairs like Chris Pratt um, don't interact a whole lot because you give them ammunition. You know, and if 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 uh, Gina Carano made a mistake, I think it was in interacting. I would have just. But I been... understand why she didn't want to back down too. Yeah, you want to back down. I'm a fighter too, and sometimes you just want to be like, "Oh hell, no, you didn't." You know. But so when, I get that when you know that these people like there's literally you cannot have a conversation with them. There's nothing there. No, there was no conversation. Yeah. Like like that one alleged 17 year old who was trying to argue with me, but there was no argument. It was just you're looking for attention. I don't have to answer you. You're uneducated. There was no discussion. And then she blocked me. And then but I didn't even do anything. And then told everybody else she blocked me because I was attacking her. And I didn't want to, I didn't want to discuss anything. I'm like, she was the one who wouldn't discuss anything. Yeah. You know, it's like, that's what they keep doing. And it, but the thing is, my point is they keep doing this. Yeah. And it never ends. And that's what, you know, we, we were, you know, we try to get across to people like these companies, a lot of times they'll throw somebody overboard thinking that that's going to stop it. You know, I think, in some way, I mean, there were people clearly gunning for Gina Carano at Lucasfilm 
inside Lucasfilm. But I think too, they're also like, well, we'll, we'll throw her overboard as basically a sacrifice to get these people to stop screaming. And they don't. They don't stop. Well, right screaming. now, they all like all the Star Wars stands are thriving on Pedro Pascal. Yeah, here's the thing: until he does something they don't like, and it yeah. could be something innocuous, like he wore a color that he didn't know he wasn't supposed to wear, or you know, he was seen with somebody else they didn't think he should be seen with, or he liked a friend's comment that they don't think is is is, is pure enough for them, and that's, that's all it's going to take. And then it's going to be we're going to cancel him too, guaranteed. Yeah, like, so people it, are insane. It's it's never gonna it's never gonna end. Um, you know, they're talking about uh, how to stands because they're dumb teenagers, a lot of them. Um, they think that conservatives are basically bigots. Like any conservative. Oh, that's what she tried to argue. You're yeah. a bigot. And I and I actually copied and pasted the definition of bigot. And and it wasn't what she thought it was. So she told me I made it up. I said I actually did a little copy and paste of the definition of the term bigot. And then she's like, um, it just means about mar about marginalized people. I said, that's not what it says. It, it says if you have prejudice, you know, whatever, against anybody because they're associated with a certain group or whatever. And I'm like, so basically you're bigoted against Julia Carano because you don't like that she is associated with the right in your mind. Yeah. I'm like, that's a, that by definition means you're a bigot too. I'm like, the, the, you know, potato, potato. Well, yeah, look at this. This is actually very concerning because this shows how how uneducated. Uh, right, uh, uh, For, but I'm the uneducated one, but what do I know? Yeah, so this is coming from that I inverse. I just graduated high school. <laughs> this is coming from that inverse article. Asking stands whether someone should be fired for being conservative yields surprising answers. One person I asked took 10 minutes to answer because she sincerely couldn't comprehend how I defined the term. Because these stands are typically so young, ranging from 15 to 17, they don't see conservative as a signifier of wanting lower taxes, smaller government, and deregulation. Conservative to them is increasingly becoming That's conflated exactly, with bigot. Exactly what it was with her. Immediately, it was bigot because she voted because she was conservative. And I, when I just when I explained to her what bigot actually means, um, then she blocked me because I was uneducated. Says the uneducated person who doesn't know the definition of bigot. I don't think I now the one what I take issue with here is again I don't believe that they're all teenagers. I think a lot of them are older activists. No, I think some of them are teenagers just from a maturity level. Have you I think no, I agree with you. I think some are posing as teenagers, <laughs> but the ones posing as teenagers I think are going out to these groups trying to get the real teenagers thinking it's something that you know, something else. Hey fellow kids and it's like some 42-year-old uh, librarian from Portland or something that Well, hey, our daughter kids was convinced that half the population in the world was LGBTQ because people were telling her this on a board. Yeah, I had to I had to kind of pull her aside and be like, hey, that's not actually true. Here's the data. You know, not that yeah. it makes a difference. No, no, know? no. But I'm just saying you've got this information being spread. Yeah. Like half the world's being mean to people. We don't know what you know. And it's like, well, no one should be mean to anybody based on that to begin with, which we stressed. But it's not half the population of the world, you know? Yeah. But that's what they went on this board telling these people, these kids. Yeah. And you've got a lot, you know, the internet is, I mean, you're talking about misinformation being spread. And it's not just coming from one side of the aisle. No. You know? it's, oh, it's, no. 100%. There's misinformation the whole way around. I tell, mean, tell impressionable minds something to get them on your side so there are more of them so you can get what you want. Right, but there's a reason why you're seeing these 15 to 17 year olds, especially, are you know really going overboard with this because they're in these groups and they're not being told that, and and they're not looking it up for themselves either. No, that's the thing. It's like, look, you've got almost the entirety of human history and information at your fingertips. Uh, any kid today with a cell phone would be a god a couple of hundred years ago, right? Mm -hmm. And this is how you use it. Right. Well, that's what you have to, <laughs> well, you have to understand, how you too. Use it. How are the schools being done now? I'm a, I'm a teacher, and I'm telling you, they teach the tests, and they don't want you to ask questions. Like, when no. we were kids, it was like, you go you go research this. You go, like, you look into it, and then you you do a report, and you put it in what, what you think and how you feel about it. And now it's just like, here's the facts because we say so. Don't question anything. And um, not all places are like that, but there's a lot of places that are. The government's doing it, too. The media's doing mm -hmm. it. Just, uh, again, just, you know, Believe what we tell you, even if there is evidence to the contrary, because we know what's best for you. Right. And there's a lot of impassioned um, people going by what they're told, not by what the truth is. Stretch and, out with your feelings. Yeah. That's why they're stretching. That's only, they're only going by feelings, which as someone who does that myself is not always the best thing. So speaking of a leap in logic, so we've gone from trying to cancel Rosario Dawson to now they're coming back to Henry Cavill. Now, Henry Cavill has been... Don't you dare. Don't you touch Henry. 
Don't you touch Henry either. I wasn't going to. <laughs> but I just think he's fun. So he's been on the receiving end of cancellation before because he's come out and said things like, hey, I don't date a lot because I'm afraid of being falsely accused. And then he gets accused of crap anyway, but he didn't do anything. It's like, well, if you're not dating anybody now, let's go back like 10 years and comb through your history. Doesn't matter. So anybody ever associate these people ever, or even if it was before they, you know, they decided to be political or anything, it makes them automatically bad. That's the stupidest thing I've ever heard. Yeah, so he, yeah, he dated uh, Gina Carano. I think I heard this before. Oh my God, 10 years ago. My date is ruined. Oh my God, he dated someone 10 years ago. 10 years ago. Was it 10 years ago? I don't ago? know. People were saying ago, people yeah. were saying it was 10 years ago. I don't know. Um. Yeah, I just found out Henry Cavill and Gina Carano dated. My date is ruined. He looks, a, he looks way younger in this one. So I'm thinking, you know. Uh, Henry's here. Oh, that Star Wars girl gets cited. Yeah, she always she's like a Henry Cavill fan too. Uh, Henry's an adult with a life that does not revolve around social media. He's actually uh, working filming The Witcher. Um, yeah, so why, basically, why is he not coming out and, uh, you know, slamming Gina Carano? He why sure, would he? Why he would doesn't he? usually slam people in general. He just kind of like keeps to himself, which is probably the smart thing to do. Oh, I love this one. I'll be daydreaming about Henry Cavill and his thang, thang and thangily, and then I'll remember he dated Gina Carano. Ew, icky. He got her cooties. Um, I don't care. This is ridiculous. Because people are, you know, somehow connected years ago. They all should be canceled, too. It's, it's it, Or they have to make a statement. This is dumb. Grow up. Well, you know, Yeah, are you stupid or something? Amen. They, yeah. Henry dated uh, Gina Carano. You know what that means. Fire Henry Cavill. Fire Gina Carano. Oh, my God. Can't wait for the day Henry Cavill decides to star alongside Gina Carano in the upcoming Ben Shapiro movie. This world's a joke. Cancel Henry Cavill. Cancel Disney+. Plus. I wonder if Henry Cavill is going to have to be interviewed by every media outlet to suss out if he agrees with Gina Carano's right-wing nonsense the way every woman who dated Army Hammer or Marilyn uh, Manson has been part of the microscope. But that's true. That, I agree with that. That's true. They, Just, none of them should have to be. If they don't want to, they don't want to have an opinion on it or a statement, they shouldn't have to have one. And again, you know, Carano said it whether you know it's true or not. She said she wasn't political for years. And it's only been the last year or two that she's gotten more political. So uh, there's a very good chance when they dated... That politics didn't come up mm -hmm. very often. You know. And all her only sin apparently seems to be that she doesn't vote the way they want. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, I'm scared. Henry Cavill was in a relationship with Gina. Was. Past Wait, tense. Wait, they said I'm scared? I'm scared. Oh, yeah. No. I'm scared? I'm scared. Get help. Seek help. Here's an idea. People that are people out there do not owe you an answer. They're allowed to have their lives. You're allowed to have your lives. That'd be like, because you guys are dumbasses on Twitter. Everybody around you should be canceled because you're stupid. That That's that's pointless and dumb. So he's Homelander now? Is that, oh my God. Uh, yeah. So. Get a grip. These people are just insane. I'm, I'm sure they're going to pick out the ones that are the worst. I'm sure. Yeah. But it's like, come on. Just, Grow the hell up. It never ends, guys. It doesn't matter what you do. I mean, they talked about Rosario Dawson. She came out as, as bi. She's done a lot for the LGBTQA community. Doesn't matter. She's dating um, Corey because, Parker. Because somebody said something once that makes it automatically true. Yeah, yeah. I mean, God, you've got you've got a woman of color, an LGBTQ woman of color in a prominent role in a Star Wars show, and you want to cancel her. Mm -hmm, because because you're thirsty for... Because you think she did something that you don't have no proof that she did. And I'm like, well, what's to stop people then technically from going around accusing all these far leftists of, of bad of bad behavior just because they, you know, I said so that that's all you need. You know, this is stupid. It's well, stupid. You need evidence. You need, you know, this is just dumb. I hope Twitter blows itself up with this, this new payment option. I really hope they do. The only thing I'm worried about, and people point out in the comments and that that, that uh, Twitter video, Twitter is going to do this uh, pay to super tweet thing, right? And uh, of course, we know that people that use Twitter don't have money, don't like to spend money, a lot of them. And the only concern I have is what other people said in the comments that they're afraid that uh, the lunatics are going to leave the asylum like they did with Tumblr. Oh, yeah. And they're, they're going to move on to another platform. To Facebook or something like that. Yeah. Yeah. It's like you got to stay ahead of the curve. Like, where do you go to get away from this nonsense? Um, the first step is these studios and these publishers, these companies, they got to realize this is not the real world. You're, you're taking the advice of emotionally stunted and very, very stupid 15 to 17 year olds. Yeah. Not that all 15 to 17 year olds are stupid. No, but these are true. particularly stupid you know, ours, 15 to our, 17 year olds. Our son was actually, was actually pretty smart. Yes, but these ones are dumb. Well, they're not dumb. They're just being, they're just being taken advantage of. Yes, but if they were smarter, they wouldn't be. I'm just saying. <laughs>
Somebody needs to slap think, some sense into these kids. I think when when you're young and you really, really want to have things that you want to define who you are and you want to make your mark and you want to, you know, be involved in something and you want to, you know, move forward thinking you're accomplishing something for the future, you're easily manipulated into believing things that you might not, you know, believe in 10 years. You look at you look at counterculture movements, you look at hippies, you look at even environmental protesters and stuff like that. Like those causes are big causes. You're bitching about who's on a Star Wars show. That's your life. Mm -hmm. You're you're spending all of your time focused on which characters are fucking in cartoon shows. Other people were trying well, to stop. Well, not even that. It's, 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 now they're on to which actors, you know, it might, it might not believe politically what I believe. Yeah. And, and, I mean, you know, in a that? country that allows, you know, choice. I mean, in the 60s, kids your age were protesting war. Uh, even then, kids were going your age were going to war. They were going to war. They were getting shot. That's why other kids your age were protesting war. In the 90s, even, you had a lot of kids protesting environmental issues. You know, even 10, 15 years ago, you had, you know, younger people protesting wars and stuff like that. Bigger, real world issues. And all you give a shit about is fiction. Mm -hmm. I'm just saying, your, your protests really mean nothing. They, they don't. I'm sorry. Go find the bigger issue to get behind. Right. Then we'll talk. All, All right. right. We're going to wrap it up. Yep. Okay. So please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. We'll talk later. Bye.